Push them over the top, but we're gonna report it anyway. Well, this probably killed that fight on April the 13th for a lot of reasons. We know AJ did not want Deontay Wilder to come to the fight, the Joseph Parker fight. He didn't want Deontay to come and get in the ring to hype a fight. He said, Because if we don't, if the fight's not signed, why hype it? Right? Now, on the undercard of that Joseph Parker fight, who was it? Povetkin and David Price. Remember that? And we all told you that's because that's why he's going to fight Povetkin next, no matter what. And all of a sudden, that no matter what was the WBA saying, we're going to do this. You got 24 hours to sign, but then gave him three weeks to sign. Remember that? Still, people act like they didn't see that happening. The WBA, whoo, very, very suspect organization there. Anyway, he's not going to show up to the fight at all. So he ain't going to watch it from home because you can't set the clock to get up. Mm -mm, that don't come, That's not important enough. And it's definitely not important enough for me to go over there to watch the fight. And get in the ring and front whoever wins. That's not important enough either. But you know what's kind of important to me? I'm going to go watch Canelo fight Fielding. I'm going to go. You know what? Because that's really important. Because Canelo, you know, he's the middleweight king. That's why he's fighting super middleweight against a regular champion. You know, that's kind of important. You know, because Canelo's part of the mad exodus leaving the 160-pound division because he ain't going to fight Charlo. He ain't going to fight Daniel Jacobs. He ain't going to fight Demetrius Andre. So he's going up to fight Fielding. That's kind of important to support someone who won't fight people in his own weight division. Right? That's important. I got to be there for that. The fight that the dudes that people want me to fight. Nah, man, I ain't going to go. And I ain't getting up neither. So that means, well, you know, if I was Deontay Wilder and y'all know I got four subscribers and somebody, either Deontay Wilder or somebody in his camp, or one of them. Because you know when I say it, it happens. And I'm just going out straight up on a limb like that because it's always true. They probably ain't going to, I wouldn't, and Deontay Wilder ain't going to negotiate with Deontay Wilder on December the 2nd either if somebody don't show up to that damn fight. Because if you don't show up to that damn fight, it means it's not important enough to you so we can continue to ignore each other. Right? Because if you ain't coming to my fight, then it ain't important to you. That's why we ain't talking to you before December the 1st. Right. And I told you all of the antics and everything from Eddie Hearn is going to be shenanigans because you could have we could have signed a long time ago. But now you're crying before the fight. So now Eddie Hearn has come the that last day is talking about, hey, we got a new offer for them two fight offer, one in the UK, one in America. And you can't get any fairer than that. That's his quote. Well, you know what was fairer than that? Fifty million minimum. Right to come fight in Las Vegas and minimum, which could have went up. And even if you lost 30 million minimum and we fight you in the UK, that's fairer than that. So you come six months later with the same deal, there's going to be less money. That was fairer than that. So don't come with that. Deontay Wilder's team probably won't negotiate with Eddie Hearn on December the 2nd now, because if you're not coming to the fight, the hell with you guys. We will continue to ignore each other, and who cares? Right? Like I've told you guys before, I don't even give a damn if they ever fight because I just think it's just ridiculous. I think, I'm going to be honest, AJ should hightail itself over to that fight. Don't show up in no Canelo fight a week or something later. Right? Like that's all of a sudden so important. That's not what you do. And I don't give a damn what his fans think right now because actually at some point, who cares? Now, 
AJ does say state this. He says, I need Wilder to win. That's the fight people have been yearning for. <laughs> well, let me just remind you. The guy that nobody knows is winning the polls. Winning the polls. Yeah, yeah. The guy that nobody knows is winning the polls. Winning the polls. How the hell they do that? That nobody knows is winning your polls. You remember the, the poll that Anthony Joshua had, who he should fight on April the 13th? And he had uh, Deontay Wilder as one of them, Tyson Fury as one of them, and Dillian White excluded Louis the Real King Kong Ortiz, which I told you. But Dillian White got 5%. And he's still going to fight Dillian White if he beats Chizura. Tyson Fury got 40%. Deontay Wilder got 50%. Now, round it up, I think Tyson Fury got 42 and Deontay Wilder got 53. So Deontay Wilder wins the polls, right? And they still ain't going to fight him. <laughs> Tyson Fury neither. They were trying to fight Dillian White. So the guy that won the polls, right, is being ignored. We ain't going to go over to his fight. So when you start to look at all of that, then you start saying, well, you know something? Who cares? That's what happens when things like that happen. And I'm pretty sure that's what Deontay Wilder's team is thinking at this particular time. And, you know, if, if somebody above both of these camps, like I said, some arbitrary organization forces these guys to fight, it probably won't happen because it's a lot of BS. And most of it, unfortunately, I don't even, it's not even unfortunately anymore. I don't really care who thinks what. You know, if you watch all of this and you continue to think one way, then whatever. What do you guys think? Do you think it's not important for the guy that wants to fight another guy to come to the fight to make sure that the world knows he wants to fight them? Or is it okay to continuously, continuously not want to go and see this guy face to face? Is it Deontay Wilder's fight that they don't meet face to face? If you're still considering that to be the point, like I've told you, there's options of what's wrong with you. Either you're a baby, might be gay, might be not even a person, something like that. Because people, grown men, full of testosterone, know what time it is. So Deontay, uh, Anthony Joshua either show up or the negotiation on December the 2nd will have a big problem. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.